Good evening, everyone. Gojard 51 here at G-Fest with Mr. Leslie Chambers. What's going on, people? We know what time it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, we're doing a little bit of a scary Bray Wyatt unboxing here because uh, the room we're in isn't really uh, being uh, cooperative. However, it is nice and quiet in here for us to talk as loud as we want and do what we need to. So, speaking of G-Fest, uh, how was your G-Fest? G-Fest was awesome. At the time of this recording, it's like 730 Sunday night, the last day of G-Fest, pretty much the event is over. You know what I mean? A uh, majority of people are gone. The vendors, the dealers room is closed down. So it's really bittersweet. But this weekend was really awesome. You know, it was off the chain. Really had a, really had a fun time. Um, of course, G-Fest always delivers when it comes to fun. Um, but also at the same time, it's bittersweet because pretty soon we're going to be parting ways. You know what I mean? But still, we're still going to be connecting online. Uh, we got each other's phone numbers. Trust me. G-Fest may be over, but this, this ain't never going to end, nope. so you know. And also, I don't know if I'm kind of jumping the gun, um, we might actually be networking to a much larger area with uh, Summit Kaiju. Summit Kaiju, yes. Summit Kaiju is um, um, it's a network um, organized by Jeremy Souls and Harold Ruiz. Um, I'm a part of the network. Matt is now is officially a part of the network where he, he's going to be showcasing his videos with my videos across a more broader and much larger fan base, especially toward uh, those people living under, uh, overseas. You know what yes. I mean? Um, and I want to say thank you to Matt for being a part of this endeavor. It's, it really is going to be a fun time. It's going to create growth for everybody. You know, it's, it's really just a, it's a great, great endeavor to be a part of. So um, on behalf of Jeremy Souls and Harold, I would like to say... Welcome to Summit Kaiju, Gojira 851. I know we're kind of going off track from the unboxing, but uh, I've been a Godzilla fan all my life, and uh, I've never been a part of any... Uh, the most I've been a part of is the Facebook group, and uh, I only get to speak to a couple of guys uh, from here on out, because we, only, we all have uh, busy times. But being a part of this, I feel like I've stepped into a much larger world, and I like to thank you very much for thinking of me and having me come along with it. It makes me feel really good. It actually brings a couple almost tears to my eyes. Uh, it's hard for me to cry. Let nowadays. it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> I'm doing an unboxing here. All right. Yeah, we're gonna do an unboxing, but um, trust me, it's. No thanks is no thanks no, no no thanks is necessary. Excuse me. But um, still, thank you. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. You know, you, you you're great people. Your content is off the chain. Your YouTube channel is amazing. You know, you. we gotta have the best. So that's why you're here. Thank you. All right. So, all right. Now back to the unboxing. Now, originally, I said that I did not like this film in a uh, crossover I did with Leslie a couple of months ago when he was living in North Carolina. He's still living there, but I was just visiting. But I still enjoy the kaiju there in the film, even though I think one of them is absolutely scary looking. But what did I get here at G Fest? I got the Rick Boy 25 centimeter. Gabra with Minya. Now, I'm going to be putting pictures uh, a little later on. I'm not going to be able to edit this video right now. So, I'm going to edit it, put pictures in as we're talking. So, Leslie, why is it that you love Godzilla's Revenge again? Well, so because much. it's a, a film that I grew up on. You know what I mean? It's one of those films that I saw early on as a Godzilla fan. And like I mentioned before a couple months ago, I, I resonate with the story a whole lot more. Yeah, I um like Kaiju. Even though Minya uh, yeah, no, oh. Minya, so but but I resonate more with the story because of the anti bullying message in the in the film. Mm -hmm. And I know the problems that plague the film the film, you know, stop footage, Minya talking, you know, it's I get it. I get the problems that a lot of people a lot of hate that a lot of people have towards it, but I still can't bring myself to hate it. I mean, I enjoy it. I, I, as a matter of fact, I enjoy the film more so than other guys of the film. You know what I mean? But I've been through that over and over and over again on my channel. But I, I enjoy the film. I really do enjoy the film, and it's, it's, it, it, I, I find it very, very enjoyable. Uh oh, lost the light. That's all right. All right. So first off, we have Minya, the Rick exclusive with Gabra. 
Now, this is uh, taken from a scene early, uh, later on in the film when uh, Minya and Gabra are fighting, and uh, Minya has to look up to his much taller adversary. Mm-hmm. And also, this can be also thought of as the part where he's being electrocuted as well by Gabra, the bully. Mm-hmm. Now, enough with Minya. Let's move on to the main event. The biggest piece of the pie. A figure that everyone has been asking for and everyone's wanted. We have a 25 centimeter Gabra. He's got little gloves and boots he's on. Let's get those off. I'm digging the mania. I, I, I'm not. I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm digging the mania. I have no problem with mania, unlike a lot of folks out there. I know my wife can't stand the mania. You know, and that's cool. You know, that's fine. But to me, I have no problem with the little guy. And this is a very, very impressive looking mania. You know, I have the 30 centimeter at home, um, and I know that there's a 25 centimeter that came with the 68, 25 centimeter Godzilla, and a 25 centimeter. Um, version that came with the 25 centimeter 67 Godzilla, but this one right here is very, 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 very nice. It's really, 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 really nice. So. so now we've got the big bully Gabra with Minya. First off, go ahead and take a look at Gabra. I like it. I really do like it. Um, and he smells fresh. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. This yes, is a very, very nice, nice figure. A long time coming. You know what I mean. Gabra was really the. Uh, the last really main sh- villain from the show that has not been done yet, that has been asked for and wanted for for years and years and years, and Plus finally did deliver. You know what I mean? Of course, personally, I would like to have for it had been thirty centimeter, but still, um, despite that, sculpted really well. Paint job is nice. The the, uh, the pose of Gavra, how he stands over Minya, want to uh, to attack him, whatever, and Minya looking kind of upright, looking upright at him. You know, they they look. Really well to the, together, and it and it symbolizes how you know what happened in the film. So kudos to X Plus for doing that. Mm-hmm. Now, like with all most of the X Plus figures, there isn't really any articulation. However, the sculpt of Gabra, each individually sculpted tooth, just looking incredible, very cat-like uh, way Gabra is. Yeah. The hairs along his ears also make him look very cat-like. Also, those demonic-looking eyes just piercing your soul like it's a nightmare. And that's pretty much what he is. He's a very uh, sadistic, uh, nightmarish creature. Okay, Going on to the horns on top of the head, looking great. Got that bone weight going. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we go down towards his. Actually, not a lot much to talk about with Gavra, because you know he's a very simple monster, almost out of uh, the Ultraman series. You look at the body, and he has the the scales slash sores all over his body, making him very, very, very uh, unique amongst the other kaiju in the Godzilla line. Right. Also, yeah, he's a very strong musculature. It starts up at the neck, and you can see kind of see the holes where uh, the suit actor will be able to see out of, just like with other uh, X-plus figures. Mm-hmm. And he goes into the uh, very shredded abs, almost like Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone from Rocky IV looking. Or like Titanosaurus. Or like Titanosaurus. But he came after him. Maybe he got on the Gabber diet. Wait, he was a dream, wasn't he? Gabber was a dream. Titanosaurus was not. But then again, all these films, you know what I mean? They, it's, yeah. They, it's kind of, you're kind of blurring the lines there. But, um... Um... But yeah, nice figure. You know what I mean? It's a, it, it, it's a long time coming. Um, I, li- I like them both. You know, um, I have a Gabra, but I have a kit, and it's like a it's like a larger third centimeter version, which is why I didn't haven't gone after the Gabra. Um, but also at the same time, if I didn't have that kit, I would have this. You know what I mean? Especially the red, because I'm a, I like Minya, I love Minya, and just having these two together is awesome. And the only thing that's missing is a 25 centimeter Godzilla 1968. But still, if you still don't, if you don't have that, just having these two together is more than enough, in my opinion. Now, uh, later, I think in September, they are re-releasing the 25 centimeter 1970 uh, from Hedra. Uh, 1970. Uh, Godzilla. Now, I know it's not exactly the same thing. However, if you can't get a hold of the 68, I would say that uh, Godzilla holding two Hedra eyes up against uh, Gabra. You know? it, it could work. Um, yeah. The 71, it could work. Oh, it's 71. I, I, yeah, 71. Oh, okay. I think 
it may come out in August, but don't oh, but, but don't yeah. quote me on that. But but S Plus, you know, they they've been doing great with how they release stuff nowadays. So I think it's in August. However, um, that version of Godzilla, even though it's a twenty five centimeter, he is a little bit taller than the, than the sixty eight version. So he may come up to Ashley Gabber's face, mm-hmm. which is not exactly accurate because Godzilla was a little bit shorter than Gabber in the film, and there's a little bit of a reason behind that because. We all know Haru Nakajima played Godzilla, but the guy who played Gabara was the same guy who played Sanda in Water Gargantuas, and who played Gabara in Water Gargantuas, Haru Nakajima. And of course, Haru Nakajima, well, at least Gabara was shorter than um, than Sanda. Mm-hmm. And also, another trivia, um, in King Kong Escapes, we all know that Haru Nakajima played King Kong, but guess who played Mechanic Kong? The guy who played Gabra, um, his, her, his name was I think Yuji or Yu Sakita. Mm-hmm. Um, but aside from the trivia, yeah. but even still, if you do get the uh, ga- um, the, the guys little seventy one twenty five centimeter, it still will look great. Like I said, it may just be a little bit, you know, a little bit too big as far as like movie accuracy purposes, but still, even without Godzilla. Gabra and Mania look great together, and don't, don't let nobody tell you any, any different. That's right. Saw it, had to have it, and he's going to be joining my collection. And uh, I recommend uh, you get a hold of it. If you get that again, you do have the model kit, so uh, yeah. you don't want to uh, overdo it too much. Yeah, because we got a lot of stuff that's coming out, like, right? right mm-hmm. At the time it's recording, there are a lot of stuff coming out. We've got a new 91 coming out. We have Super Mecha Godzilla coming out. That comes out, out next week. Next week, we got No, Super- Wednesday. It comes out Wednesday, I believe. So expect to get their invoice in a couple days. So between that, we got Mecha, like I said, Mecha Godzilla ninety three comes out this week. Ninety one, I believe, comes out late August or middle yeah. August. We've got seventy five uh, Godzilla coming out, and of course the big guy, the S plus gigantic series Shin Godzilla, which has create quite the buzz this week yes. and kind of shut down the internet a little bit. So yes. a lot of stuff coming out, and I can't wait for it. Now, as uh, you'll see in the Fresh Vinyl Live uh, video, uh, I don't mean to steal his thunder, but he can explain a lot better. Apparently, well, not apparently, the figure actually sold out in less than three hours. I was asleep when they announced that the figure was online. When I woke up and saw, hey, it's online, it was already sold out. Right. Now, X Plus, from what I understand, has uh, taken notice with this, same as they did with the 25 centimeter, and they are going to make a second batch, but... Uh, Mr. Fresh Vinyl can explain a lot better than I can. Right. So, other than that, that is Gabra and Minya. And I must say, even though Minya scares the crap out of me because his uh, little donkey screeches, uh, this actually is an excellent sculpt, and I just love the facial exactly. look. Yeah. It captures the goofiness of Minya. Yeah. You know what I mean? I would have to say, even though I had the 30, mm-hmm. this probably is the best looking Minya i ever seen. Yeah. And that's not saying much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's wait. Oh, much. wait. Oh, wait. There's more. There is a f- smidget of articulation on Minya. You can move the legs a little bit. So his arm can move right here, too. Yeah, and his arms. You know, he kind of reminds me of the Bandai 6-inch uh, that came out. Just way more detailed. You know, far more detailed, yes. And more, but, a lot more expensive. <laughs> yes. That there is the show. And you can actually... I guess if you have Minya like this, he's kind of electrocuting him like that, but, you know, move him out of the way. Guest of honor, don't want to be blocking you. That is the show. The show, and uh, I'm going to have more reviews later. Uh, Other than that, this is GoJ51 saying goodnight, thanking our guest, Mr. Leslie Chambers, for uh, joining me on this uh, little unboxing video. I know he's a big fan of Godzilla's Revenge. I'm starting to come around. I, I, I'm, I'm at a point where I'm, I'm done hating. I'm done being annoyed with uh, movies. I mean, there's a certain 98 film that I just write off, just whatever. I just, I, I'm done hating. I'm, I'm really done hating. I mean, it's okay to not like a film, you know what I mean? Yeah. But if you can look at it from another perspective and, you know, just try and get some kind of newfound, newfound appreciation for it, there's really nothing wrong with that. But, um, yes, this is... This has been a great, great opportunity. I'm going to miss you, you know, because it's going to be a while until we yes. be, be around each other again. But, you know, well, like I said, G-Fest may be ending, but this part of the train we're never going to end. That's you know what right. I mean? And I thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. All right. Well, you'll have a good night and more reviews coming out soon from the both of us. Till then, please like, comment, share, subscribe.
Good night. You know it. <laughs> <laughs>